Welcome to Xyron's Inspiration in Motion. You already love Xyron products for their use in scrapbooking, but did you also know that Xyron is terrific for kids' crafts, home decor, school projects, and more? We've created some short project videos to get your creativity juices flowing, so come on in. Hi, I'm Beth Kingston, and this is my friend Jessica Barnett, who decided to drive me here, so I let her come. Jessica is actually very crafty, and she has come up with this Halloween goodie bag beautifulness that disgusts me with its craftiness. So she's going to show us how to do it. Um, you've taken some fabulous orange paper, and you've created a template, which you're welcome, everyone. She's put in print, and you can find it on this page. If you look below us, you'll see a link, and you can click and get it. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. Always happy to discuss you anyway. <laughs> you're so kind. Yes. So tell us how you go about you just cut one piece out of each piece of paper. How many pieces yep. do you need? You'll have a total of five. That'll be five sides that make up the whole pumpkin. Okay, and you're also going to cut a strip. How wide is the strip about? About an inch and a half, I would say. Okay, I'm going to run all this through the mm -hmm. nine inch Creative Station, also known as the 900 to most folks. This is a great machine. Um, in addition to doing repositionable and permanent adhesive, it also does laminate, magnet. Today we're using the double sided laminate which I love. So I'm going to go ahead and run these through while Jessica curls the darling little tendrils back. And these little tendrils and the handle, both I specifically used a double-sided paper because the inside you won't see as much, but the handle you will see both sides of it. And does it matter how thick they are or just how, whatever you feel I like you want to do? I want to say I did like three eighths of an inch. I just tried to keep them fairly thin. Mm -hmm. I didn't want them completely huge. But when I did end up tacking them on, I folded the very end over on top of itself and sewed through that double layer so it was a little stronger. Oh, okay. So what we've done is um, put through our pieces of paper. It's now laminated on both sides. And the great thing about this is that it's thin enough that I can cut through it. I'm going to leave a little bit of an edge, as you can see on the bag, um, which just gives it a cute finish. So while you're curling, I will be cutting. Well, and actually, you can show people how you make the punch marks while I'm cutting. Yes, the it's template cute. will already have all the measured out punch marks. Thank you again. Yes. And I measured them all because you'll want each side to match up exactly. Mm -hmm. And so is I this just regular floss you're using? Yeah, just a regular embroidery floss. I chose like a darker, like a pilly green actually. Mm -hmm. And the fancy tool I'm using here is an upside down mouse pad. <laughs> and I like the mouse pad because it has a little give right. for each of those. And it's nice and thick so you're not going to go yeah. through. It makes a bunch of holes in my <laughs> <right table. laughs> it's countertop. But so you'll do both sides of each piece mm -hmm. of the pumpkin. Okay. And then you just poke holes in the handle at the bottom. Yes. I actually, when I was ready to do the handle, mm -hmm. laid the whole thing down, held the handle where I wanted it, and pierced my holes that way. Oh, okay. And then you also just pierce the hole where you want to attach the tendrils. Yep. Okay. And those just have a little knot. With the pumpkin, I always make sure my knot starts on the inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Good idea. Good tip. If you're having a problem holding anything in place, even if it's just while you're punching holes, you can use a couple of binder clips. Oh, good idea to hold everything straight. Mm -hmm. Because if you try to use pins like you would the fabric, you'd leave more holes in your project. Right. But so I just did this around and around and around okay. on all the sides. When you get to the end, because we want it to have this shape and it's like a belly, like an actual mm -hmm. pumpkin, when you have your sides finished, you'll want to push out on them all the way around okay. to make sure you get that even shape once it's all sewn together. Okay. You know what else I like about this is how darling would this be for baby shower gifts or little wedding centerpieces? You can choose any color paper. Yeah, with I a little was confetti thinking in the a little gift for the teacher with a <gasps> little bit of candy in it. Or, or back to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I love it, as usual. Happy Halloween, my friend, to you. If you'd like more information or for more project ideas, join us at xyron.com slash projects. Happy Halloween!